All right, let's talk about some multiple probabilities. So we're putting some probabilities together here. So I have three different examples. We have test questions that we're trying to guess answers to. We have some dice rolling, and then we have a bag of marbles. We're going to talk about replacement and not replacement and what the difference is. Okay. Whenever you have multiple probabilities, you're always going to multiply the probabilities together. So multiple probabilities means you multiply all the probabilities together to find the total probability that all these things happen. So multiple probability is like if you roll a dice, you roll a two and then you roll a six in that order, same way. So you multiply all the probabilities together, multiply all the fractions. Okay, so this is a multiplying fraction exercise. So let's look at the dice. What's the probability of roll a two, and then a six. That means in that order, like you get a two, then you get a six. So what's the probability you roll a two? Probability you roll a two is there's one two on six sides of the dice. One two on six sides of the dice. What's the probability you roll a six? There's one six on six sides of the dice. Multiply those two probabilities together. So you get one, six times six is 36. So your probability that you roll a two and then a six is one over 36, one out of 36 times. Multiply those two probabilities together. Okay, let's take a look at our question here with our trying to guess the right answers on the test. So four question quiz. First two questions are true, false. Second two questions are multiple choice. What's the probability you guess on all four and you get a perfect score? So let's look at the true false questions. What's the probability that you get that question correct, that you guess that question right? Well, there's one right answer out of two possibilities. So one over two. Same thing with the next true false question, one out of two. What about the multiple choice question? What's the probability that you guess that question correctly? There's one correct answer choice out of four different possibilities. So one out of four. Same thing for the next one. There's one out of four. One possible, one correct answer choice out of four possibilities. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all four of those fractions, all four of those probabilities, and multiply them together. So you just take one half times one half times one fourth times one fourth, and then you're going to multiply all those together. One times one all the way to the top is one. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. You can do this in any way that you want. Four, 16 times 4 is going to be 64. So that probability, 1 out of 64, means you have a 1 out of 64 chance of guessing all of those questions and getting a perfect score. Okay, that's a multiple probability. Multiple multiply. Okay, final step. Let's look at a bag of marbles. Talk about the difference between replacement and not replacement. Okay, replacement and then non-replacement. So we have a bag of 10 marbles, three red, three blue, four white. Replacement, say we replace the marble back in, that means we put it back in the bag. We pull a red, then we pull a blue. So what's the probability that we get a red on the first chance? Well, there's three red ones out of 10 total. What's the probability we get the blue? Well, if we, put, we take the red out and we put the red one back in, there's still 10 marbles in there. So the probability with the blue is three out of 10 as well. So we have three out of 10 and three out of 10, multiply those together, okay? Because we replaced it, the denominator should be the same because we replaced it, okay? Three times three is nine, 10 times 10 is 100, nine out of 100, Nine over 100, that is our probability that we get a red, then a blue. What if there's no replacement? Same sequence, we pull a red, then we pull a blue. Okay, well, let's think. We pull a red one out. Probability of that happening is three out of 10. Now we put the red marble off to the side. So what's the probability that we're gonna pull out the, a blue one next? Well, still three blue ones left, but now how many marbles are left? There are nine marbles left. So when you replace, when there's no replacement, the denominator should go down because there's no replacement. Okay, three times three is gonna be nine. Nine times 10 is gonna be 90, and this way we reduce down to one over 10. And it should be one out of 10 times. So one tenth is your probability of getting the blue, of getting the red, then a blue. Let me give you one more example here. Think about it. Let's say we want to pull some of 
Just put it in the bottom here. Same sequence, same, same bag of marbles. So this one we want a uh, red, then another red. Okay, so let's talk about that. No replacement. Okay, no replacement. We want to get a red, then another red. So let's probably we pull a red marble on the first one. Three reds out of 10 marbles in the bag. Put that red marble off to the side. Now we got to pull again. Now we want to pull another red marble. Well, if we have the new bag, that means we have nine total because we put the red one off to the side. Now, how many red marbles are in that bag? There's two now. And there's two because we took one of the three reds and we took it out because we had to get it. So now there's only two red marbles left in that bag. So three out of 10 chance for the first pull. Now it's a two out of nine chance for the second pull. Multiply across. Okay, this one I'm gonna cross simplify it automatically. So I'm gonna get, all right, two tenths is gonna break down. That's one, five. Three times one is three. Five times nine is 45. This is just a way to simplify before you get to the end. So your probability of pulling a red, putting it off to the side and then pulling another red is three out of 45. Okay, and that's how we're gonna work our probabilities.